Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my antique channel. My name is Deanna and I'm the owner of Vintage Touch Antiques. I'm eager to share with you today what's been selling during the month of March 2017. Another month has rolled by, clocked off of our calendars, and it is time now for me to share with you what has sold from among the featured pieces that I have here on my webpage. I sold a quite a large variety of things this past month, some of them higher priced than others, and I like to put things on my webpage here that are from a variety of different price ranges because I have them grouped according to category. So when you come to visit my antique booth in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland, I'm hoping there will be something there for you. So let's just Dive right in now and see what's been selling. The first item that I'm pulling up here was a wonderful 19th century, early 19th century platter. This, this piece is a pea fowl, is what they call this pattern. Um, had kind of a magenta border there. And I did have that piece reduced to $49. This one dated from around 1820 to 1830, and it had the four color design, which is a lot more desirable. It measured about 10 by 14 and a half inches, so maybe you were what that lucky buyer. Next, I sold this. It's a French coffee grinder. You can see the name here in the title, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, it was a smaller coffee grinder, just a 4x4 four four base. Just a real charming piece that would add so much uh, character uh, into your primitive settings. This next piece was an early wood duck decoy. This piece had the glass eyes there. You can see the ripples in his wood uh, body there. Nice folk art quality to him. Great for garden rooms, porches, any kind of thing like that that you want to use him as a decor item. And that piece was priced at $45. This next piece was an early photo. Now this was an online sale. And this piece um, was a photo, 19th century, it looks like from the clothing. You can see the ladies in their early clothes and dresses there. And it was from the German, it was a photo of the German Methodist Orphan Asylum in Berea, Ohio. Now we would not use that word today, probably asylum, to attach to children in an orphanage, but that was what they used. Uh, like I said, Victorian time period. And that was an online sale and sold for $15. This was the cutest little celluloid front. It's a little uh, notebook with that colonial lady there on the front. Great old piece. Just a mini piece. I don't have the size down there, but it wasn't more than about 2 by 4 or 2 by 3 And that piece sold for $15. And this was a nice early black pepper canister. This was a golden rule, and it, it has the letters CWS on the front, has the screw-on tin cap, one pound size it was, six inches tall, had a green color, and that one was priced and sold for $28. This next piece is just a country garden fruit basket that had the bell handle. This was a smaller size, not a great big one, 11 and a half inch diameter. You can do a wonder, wonderful a lot of things with an old basket like that, and that one sold for $12. Now this was a stoneware bottle. Some of these bottles contain like they would call them ginger beer, and some of them are ink bottles. Um, it had original label of Roger Bordeaux, had a lion impressed mark on it. As you can see, some of its label is still on here. And that bottle sold for $15. 
Next item is a hand forged food chopper. You can see the early hand forging there. Great old primitive, primitive um, kitchen tool. Sold for $18. Now this next piece, I had two of these actually, and I sold one online and one in my shop. This was a Dundee marmalade jar. Nice old ironstone type of pottery there. Very popular. This one sold for $17. And then this was a scissor style antique candle snuffer and wick trimmer. This one did not have the footed um, bottom there that, re that that some of them have to rest. It never did. It was an early piece and that piece sold for $10. And then I sold this early dough scraper. I guess it was the month for kitchen tools and gadgets and I do sell a lot of those. And this one is also a hand forged dough scraper and this one was priced at $25. Then I sold this straight razor. I think I showed this on one of my videos when I had when I found this. It's a new arrivals and it did have a name. It was a Bindley Hardware Company, Prussia is the name on it. I put that old case with it as a protective thing to use with your uh, razor. This was a tortoise shell style of handle, and that piece sold for fifteen dollars. Another kitchen tool. This was a bell tassel hand forged spatula or turner. You can see there the shape of it is unusual and the little um, the handle here had a um, curved edge like a tassel for hanging and that piece sold for $15. And I sold this rug beater this was an angled handled rug beater. Um, just heavy duty piece, wire, you know, the graphic design. A lot of people use these on wa walls for just, um, you know, graphic, their graphic quality on a wall. And that piece sold for $18. Now, this book I did also show in my. Um, haul video and I think it was that or new arrivals but this one went to the shop I did have a lady that was interested in it online and I hated because I when I got back to the shop a couple of days later this uh, book had already sold and I I sort of felt like it would go quickly it's a botany book and it's uh, very unusual to find these um, how plants grow and it was for young children and I had it priced at just $13, and it was date, copyrighted at 1858. So if you were the lucky buyer that got it in the shop, uh, I'm uh, happy that you got it as well, because I was about to pick it up and put it online for this other lady. But keep trying, if you were the one that was wanting it, or if anything that you see in my videos, if you're interested in them, just contact me, and if they can be put online so they can be purchased online, I'll be happy to do that for you. Of course, always remember there will be shipping costs added to the prices that I quote. Now this piece was an antique Buckingham, Buckingham excuse me, smoking tobacco tin. It did have some rough areas there, but this was a rather hard to find one, a little bit, you know, rather sought after. And so because of the condition, I had that one priced at $18. And another tin, this is the Tin Litho Russian Treasure Chest Tea Tin. And it was this little small tin, had a great appearance, and that one sold for $9. I also showed this in one of my videos. Uh, this was... It was an early uh, heavy-duty metal. You can see the star design there that's um, embossed and the diamonds design there at the bottom. It's a match holder. It would have hung on the wall to hold matches. 
and that one sold for $15. Another piece that I also showed in one of my videos, and this was a charming little galvanized chick feeder, just 11 inches long. Usually they're longer than that, so this one was an unusual piece. And this piece sold for $16. Another piece that you might have seen on one of my videos, uh, this was an arts and crafts copper cauldron. It had this wonderful dovetails around here. This was an early piece. It had, was missing its handle, but because of its age um, and unusualness, just four and a half inches tall, and that piece sold for $35. Now this was a beautiful piece. I, I love this. This was fabric. It's a Victorian morning fan. Morning as in the way they dressed in black and they their, their rules for mourning when there was a death. This was etched. This was all wood part, the handle here, and this, and this was etched, and this was fabric. And it was just a really um, unusual early piece, and that one sold for $18. And then this piece, I also showed in one of my videos, and one of my uh, viewers contacted me about this. Uh, it was about an 18-inch long handle there with this little, it was just a hand rake, but it was only a hand-held one, you know, a short one, 18 inches long. And um, the reason I liked it was because of the crude way that that was put together and made by someone and that one sold for $14. Now this is an Atlas antique uh, straight line, no shoulder. It's a quart canning jar, aqua. It does have Atlas on there. You can barely read Mason, all that on the front, but it's um, hard to vot photograph those glass jars but you can see the straight line to it there. And that one sold for $17. And here's a piece that I just thought was charming as it could be. Um, I've loved it ever since I did. I've had it and now somebody else owns it. And this one is an all tin embossed, heavily embossed you see there, um, child's ABC plate and this one uh, was showing the uh, story, Who Killed Cock Robin? And, of course, it's so it's so uh, hard for us to understand in today's world uh, these kinds of things for children, you know, who, who killed Cock Robin. But that was the times that, that they lived in, and those were things, some of the uh, stories that were for children and everything seems a little more morbid to us today, but that was the... The time period in which this was, and that piece sold for $29. And then the next piece, I'm pretty sure it went the same day, so I'm pretty sure it probably went with the same person. And this book would makes a great accompaniment to that plate because this is a little cloth book, and it was The Death and Burial of Cock Robin. And that was a McLaughlin Brothers book. Several pages, I'm not sure how many pages. I don't think I have that listed there, but it did have several pages. Early 1900s book, in pretty good condition for a book that's cloth book and used by children from that age, and that one sold for $15. And then this was just a terrific little Victorian brass baby rattle. It had this faceted stone here that was in the middle. You can see the brass here, and it's just, just quaint is the, the word for that one. And that one sold for $18. Then I sell a lot of boxes. I've told, told you that many times if you're familiar with my channel. And this was a Leeds and Northrop instrument box. It was all oak. It had that great little lock latch there. That box sold for $15. And that brings us back to the beginning, which is the conclusion of my video about what's been selling from my featured items here on my webpage. And so 
If you would like to ever check out what's been selling or look at the featured items during the month, just click on the link that's in the description of the video that will take you to my webpage. Also in the description you'll find a link to my online store and you can look that over. There's plenty of uh, antiques and vintage items there as well. And like I said, if you think, see things in my haul videos or my new arrivals videos that you are interested in purchasing, you'd like to see them um, placed in my online store so you can view them and purchase them there, I'd be more than happy to do that for you if I can. And also let me invite you to visit my antique booth. It's a double space booth that's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. You'll find my booth on the left side of that large one level mall and just look for the large vintage touch sign that hangs in the back of that space. And of course, let me invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you subscribe and to see all of the videos that I put out and hit the notification bell so you don't have to miss any. I have a wide variety of antique videos in different playlists grouped accordingly. And so just check out if you have if you're not familiar with my channel, check it out and see if there's something there that you think is worth subscribing to. I'd love to have you. And then finally, before I close, let me encourage you always to enjoy your collecting of antiques and your discovery of them, learn the history of them, because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.